Welcome to Sumster Games, the place to find new strategy games. And today we're going to do what every young man dreams about. Because as a woman, I 100% definitely totally know the answer to what young men dream about. Now, what exactly do you mean by young man? I've been on this earth a few years. Well, above 18 or 21, depending on your country. That's weirdly specific and general answer, but I fit. Well, to those of you who don't fit the category and are not young men and don't know the answer to the question, well, it's of course making your own brewery. So we're going to play Brewer. Big thank you to the developer for giving me a key to this game. And this is kind of like a tycoon business game where essentially we just make our own beer and sell it in our pub and make lots and lots of money. And maybe do some tax evasion. We'll see. We're going to start a new game. Let's go. We're going to play on normal because we are good at this. And we're going to name my brewery the SPS Brewery. It's like, hey, you want to go to the SPS to have a drink? Yeah. Like that. Now, it wouldn't be a proper episode of mine if I didn't appreciate how somebody looks in the game. So this is the only character we'll see in the game ever. So let's talk about her. First of all, she is very beautiful. <laughs> And there are a lot of other jokes I could make about her, but I'm not gonna do it because we're not that kind of channel, okay? Welcome to Novo Primorx, a cozy city located by the ocean. And Novo Primorx is well known for its beer brewing traditions. Many locals love and respect the frothy beverage. It's been your greatest dream to open a small brewery here for a long time, and that dream has finally come true. Perhaps there'll be a time when you'll be lying in a hammock on the shore of Novo Primorx Gulf, a glass of your very own homebrewn beer in your hand and reminiscing of this special day, the day when you first set foot on the path to the beer brewing summit. Brewing is not an easy craft, but are there really any hardships that are truly capable of stopping those who love their trade from the bottom of their heart? There aren't. There's plenty of work ahead of you. Good luck, bro. All right, let's go make some beer. Now, I would like to, no tutorial. I'm, I'm good at this, I can tell you myself. Our goal is to open a new pub in Big Max, and if we do that, we get a gift from our friend. And that gift is beer, so we can sell it. And they're gonna be like, but well, I gave it to you for you to drink it. Eh, I'm gonna sell it in my pub. So I wanna preface this by saying that I don't drink beer, which means I do not know which kind of beer is good or bad, or if the name of these beers are real. But I assume they are, because like, I think I heard like, there's like a lager name somewhere, I think that's a real beer. I, I assume they're real beers, I don't, I don't know, I don't know. So like I said, I don't drink it, I don't know much about it, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my best, okay? So first let's talk about the UI a little bit, so you know, so if, on, on the left you can see the current beers that you have. So currently we have this malt liquor and Nova Primorx, uh, sorry, yeah. So this is the beer that we have, and beer where we currently don't have any, so that's zero. Then we can click on recipes, so we currently have two recipes that we know and, and two recipes that we can learn. And we have a one unlearned point that we can use to learn it. Let me just uh, make the music a little bit uh, quieter. Alright, so we can make malt liquor or Nova Primorx hooch. Or, and we can also learn how to make pale lager or dark lager. I don't know if that's how you say it. I hope so. Then we have ingredients, here we can buy specific ingredients, however there's sort of like a quicker button to buy ingredients, so we're going to be using that mostly. And then we have cars, so we can use the car to move the stuff from the brewery to our pub. Uh, on the right you can see a list of pubs and of my employees. Currently I have only one employee and that's me, because I'm the boss, and I'm the best employee in the world because I can work from 8 in the morning to midnight and I don't need to pay myself because I am myself, so that's great. Everybody else, you need to pay them, and they only pay work eight hours, and if you make them work longer than eight hours, they will, but they will want double the money, because it's like, I'm working overtime, and they're like, nah, okay. So it's better not to make them do that. And then here's a statistic here, we can see how much we sold, and stuff like that. So, we're gonna start this off by buying a pub, and we're gonna buy a pub in Big Max, which is one of my objectives. All right, here you can see objectives. So we have we are supposed to open the pub in Big Max, and the big objective is to run or acquire all your competitors. So first, we're gonna start a pub here. Now here we can see what kind of people would uh, possibly enter my pub. So we have students. The biggest amount we have industry workers. Then we have a lot of tipplers, and we have some partiers, a little bit of lady friends and fans. 
and that's about it. So what do you want to look at here is you want to look like what are the preferences. So if we look at the industry workers, which uh, are probably going to go the most in our little pub, we can see that they prefer cheap or premium beer, medium or strong, balanced or bitter, and traditional when it comes to creativity. Then we have a pretty high amount of parties. They like any category, light or medium, balanced or sweet. So if you look at the combinations, you would ideally like to make cheap, medium strength beer that's balanced. And if you look at tipplers, they like it as strong and as cheap as possible. But I think we can do that. So medium strength, balance, and cheap beer. Okay, we can, we can do that. And the lady friends? Lady friends? Lady friends won't like that. Lady friends are like, eh, not my thing. Which is understandable, I guess. And students? Oh, students like that. Cheap, medium, balance, perfection. Okay, so we're gonna cater to everybody except... Even the fans, except the lady friends, it's just we are not a pub for the, for the lady friends, okay? Like, if you want to have a nice Cosmo drink, I don't know, <laughs> go somewhere else. I don't drink alcohol too much, okay? And beer at all, so like, it's gonna be fun. Okay, so we're gonna start to open a pub here. Open a new pub in this district, let's go. It's gonna cost me 4,000, I have 7,000, and I've gotten the extra beer from my friend. now. Now our new goal is to earn 5,000 gold, okay. So here we can see how much uh, beer we have. We have 1,200 beer in total. Now if we click here, we can now see that we got extra beer from our friend. And the money that we have, this you can see like the day, week and month and the um, time and how many have not busy employees. So because it's AM, we do have time. The pub always opens at 4 p.m. I'm gonna talk to you more about the pub when it's like happening. So I want to make some beer. So we know exactly malt liquor and Nova Primark switch now. Malt liquor is strength 35 to 6. That seems like a medium, but it's pretty bitter. So we would like something balanced, ideally. But we don't have any beer that fits our category. I guess this could go. A little too bitter, but... Uh... Okay, well, if, if we can do that... What we could do is do like a strong beer that's cheap because we know that the industry workers they like strong and uh, bitter and the tipplers as well and it's all cheap and so we could do that so we could do the Novo Cream Works which, which is strong and bitter but they're gonna like it at least yeah we'll try that I mean the malt liquor could work as well it's not that bitter I think it's gonna be fine but we'll do the Novo Cream Works which first then because this is too bitter for them so let's brew the beer now, we can pick the tank in which we want to brew. We currently only have small size tanks, so size 40, so we're going to pick that. And we're going to pick ourselves to do it. We're going to do 40 pints, because that's the amount we can fit in the tank. And you can do manual brewing mode or automatic. Now, the auto automatic is like random based, so you have like 30% chance to have 80 to 100 quality beer and 70% chance to have 60 to 80. And first we need to buy the ingredients, which we could do by clicking on this ingredients tab over here, or we can just quickly click it here and that's going to be quicker. And I'm going to do the manual one just to show you. So the way this works is that you need to press space to start this off and then you're going to be clicking on this to hold, uh, this meter is going to fall down and you're going to hold this to keep it moving to the right and then, or hold this to keep it moving this one and you got to make sure it doesn't, that doesn't fall into the right category. So I'm clicking this right now, then I'm clicking this one and I'm moving it in the right space. And if you make sure that it doesn't fall into the right category, then you'll have a high quality beer. Okay, we're done. We click space. We have 97% quality. So I'm just going to click OK. And we have made 40 of that. Now, we don't actually have the beer yet because it needs to uh, ferment. So we have the beer wort and needs to 26 more hour so that uh, it finishes fermentation. And then we're going to have it. Now, I'm going to grab another employee. Now, we actually didn't start the process yet. It's going to take two hours of the brewing, but we've already did like the the mini game, I guess. We're gonna have Isaac. Now, Isaac is going to be also making beer. So let's do that. So I'm actually going to make one more beer. You know what? Let, let's make both of these beers. It's gonna be fun. Let's make the malt liquor and we're gonna see which one sells better. It can be a little bit, a little bit of a competition and we'll see which one goes better. So Isaac, your job is to make malt liquor. Let's go. We're gonna do the manual one one more time. And click space. 
Now talk to you about signature recipes while we're doing this. I'm gonna make the malt liquor signature recipe. We're gonna call it the SPS liquor. So this is a 99% quad. I'm going to make this a signature recipe so we can have up to 15. We can name them ourselves, which I think is pretty cool. So it's going to be the SPS liquor. Yeah. And there's a 99% quality. And when you are making a signature recipe, it works a little bit differently because instead of having like the random quality, you get a sort of like a detriment from the quality, which in our case is 99%, depending on how clean your tank is, how experienced your people are and stuff like that. So we can talk more and more about it when we actually do it. This is gonna take both of them two hours. So I'm going to let the time go and let the two hours pass. Okay, the two hours are done. Uh, I have a turn on that's like auto stopping when they're finished jobs. You can turn it off if you'd like, but I think it's better if you have it. So then now both can do other stuff and also it can show you here that both of us have worked two hours. It doesn't matter for me, but it matters for Isaac. Also, if you hover over me or Isaac, you can see that we have 0.12% experience in brewing. So the way the experience is work that the more you do one type of job, the better you get at it. And if you do other type of jobs too much, then the experience could get a little lower. Like if you don't do this very often, then you lose the experience again. But you get certain benefits from that. And it's pretty important, especially in the brewing beer, that if you have a good experience, you don't lose that much quality if you're using uh, signature recipes, which again, we'll, we'll talk about more a little bit later. So now we have our SPS liquor and we have made that. Now, at this point, what we're going to do is we're going to grab the car and we're going to take all of the beer into the pub because right now in my pub I have no beer at all. So this is a good time to talk about the pubs, so let's, so let's do it. So pubs have popularity, profitability and disorder. Disorder is like when you have a fight in a pub and stuff like that. If an expansion team arrives at a pub with disorder level 35 or above, they will fine you and you have to close the pub for an entire day, which is pretty bad. Profitability decreases if you have customers that weren't able to be served. Now, this doesn't seem like a big deal at the start because you start with a thousand beer, but the people are gonna drink a lot of beer. It can be like 200 or even 400 per day. And as you saw, we could only make 40 in one tank, so 80. So that's not much. So we're gonna definitely need to buy new tanks so we can make a lot more beer. And popularity, the more popular your pub, the more people visit it. So how do you increase popularity? Well, that's what advertising is for. So the way this works is that you have, uh, we currently have no beer in the pub, but we're gonna bring it there via the car. No people there because the pub is closed. And you can set up jobs in the pub. Now in the pub when it's open, you wanna have bartenders and security guards. When it's closed, you wanna clean it up. And then when it's closed, there are a couple of other jobs that you could do. For example, advertiser, you can advertise this pub and make sure that people go there. Advertising can take however long you want. The longer you advertise, the more people will come. So that's pretty cool. So it, it's a good thing to do if you have like an employee, like we have Isaac, we can have him do something else for extra six hours if you want. Accountant, he can do tax evasion so we can stop, not pay taxes or hide a part of our income from taxes which is pretty cool. We're not gonna do it on the first day because I wanna show you how much we pay in taxes. And bribery, you can bribe the inspection not to come. If an inspection, if an is, sorry, inspection come and you're doing the tax evasion, you have to pay extra fine, of course. So we're not gonna, we don't need to do anything here just yet. I'm only gonna set up Isaac to advertise the pub because I can uh, make money like that. Oh, so I can get more people, then it's going to be better. And I'm going to grab myself and I'm going to take this car and start loading it. I'm going to put the Nova Primer switch in there, the malt liquor and uh, pale lager. And now the car is filled up and we're going to grab it and bring it to the pub in Big Mix. Go. It's going to take two hours, so we're going to let the time go again. Okay, we're done. Now we have four more hours before the pub open so we could do tax evasion because it takes four hours but i'm not going to do it just yet instead i'm going to make more beer so first thing i want to do is i want to buy a better tank because we can only do 40 in these tanks and that doesn't seem like much so instead i want to buy a medium tank where we can have 160 size so let's do that and we're going to brew more of the i wonder what we should do more of Let's do the SPS liquor so I can show you how it works. So we're going to brew this. I'm going to pick the medium brewer thing and we're going to tell myself to do it. And you can see that the changes in quality is going to be 
plus 0.03 percent which is pretty cool so if we just straight up do it then um we like skip the manual so we're gonna have 99.003 percent sometimes this can be a pretty long minus for example if your tank is dirty it can get lowered pretty significant but this is gonna be very high quality beer so we're gonna skip the manual brewing we're gonna do it and you can see it still says 99 percent that's great so it's gonna take two more hours so let's do it now we could uh, try to make even more beer, so I'm going to do that because you're really going to need a lot of beer. But you can see now it lowers the quality of up to 6% because the tank is, is, is dirty. But I'm going to do it anyway, it's fine. Let's do it. Have I bought the ingredients? Yes, I have. Go. So this is going to take two more hours to do and then it's going to be four in the afternoon. Now, a couple more things to do. Before you open the pub, you can actually change the prices. So one thing I want to... So at the moment I only have like the basic stuff. It all costs two, which is cheap. That's good. But uh, later on where we bring like the high quality SPS liquor, which is essentially the malt liquor but has a 99% quality, we could make it a little bit more expensive. I think that could be cool. So, but right now, I think we'll just keep the prices the way they are. Also, each beer has expiration date, so we want to make sure that you sell it before it expires. Now, I also want to get myself a new employee. It's going to be Luis, and Luis is going to be my bartender. So, I am going to auto-assign bartender. As soon as the pub opens, I want uh, Luis to automatically be the bartender, and I'm going to tell myself to automatically be the guard. So, we're going to have... Uh, guard so that uh well <laughs> it's gonna be funny like uh, i would be a very bad security guard in real life but you know my imaginary character is really strong and they can you know he can do stuff <laughs> hopefully so we're gonna work as security guard to make sure that uh there's not gonna be any fights in the pub and stuff like that and Luis is going to be my bartender and uh the pub is open from 4 p.m. to midnight, so exactly eight hours, so it's going to be perfect. So you never want to get, tell Luis to do anything else because he's just like, just the bartender and that's it. And we're going to wait for two more hours while Isaac is going to be advertising and now the pub will open. So the uh, pub just opened so we can let the time go. We currently have 19 people in the pub, 21, and you can see they're already drinking the beer, it's getting lower and stuff like that. And we can also see what kind of visitors we get. So we have gotten, we've actually gotten some interesting set of visitors. We had, oh, actually, so you can see it either in the statistics here, you can see the, how many visitors, 188 visitors. We sold 228 beer already and we had fairly low popularity. We made 255 today. And you can also click on the statistics here to see some more. So we can see that we sold only cheap beer. Well, that's because we only have cheap beer. Average quality was 96.4%, which is very cool. And uh, yeah, we sold cheap beer and yeah, that's about it. And you can see our expensive. Oh, and you can see our taxes. So we paid 100 in taxes. So later on, if we do the tax evasion, we can, we can pay a lot less. Oh, and also there was a... Um, yeah, visitors reaction during the day. So we had 13 people who were not able to buy any beer because we didn't have whatever they would like. 78 people who bought one pint of beer and 75 people who bought more than one pint of beer. Okay, so now we gotta go to sleep and it's going to be tomorrow. And tomorrow we can do more stuff. So if you look at my beer and beer work, we can see that we have a lot of beer work here ready, but needs two more hours before it's completely finished. So Isaac, I'm not going to tell him to do anything, but I'm going to tell Luis to clean the pub. The disorder is five, which is not that high, but I'm going to tell him to clean it anyway, so clean it. And I'm going to tell myself to clean the medium tank medium brewery tank. Now because we can reuse the tank, what I'm thinking about is selling the small tanks, at least one, so that if we want to have like, uh, if you want to brew two things at the same time, I can do one in the big one and in the medium one, one in the small one, but we're probably not gonna bother about the tiny one. Oh wait, I told myself to clean, I yeah, to clean the big one, okay. So we're going to wait for two hours till that's done. Okay, it's clean. Perfect. Now I'm going to be brewing more beer. In the meantime, Luis is going to take all the beer that I have, which is now uh, which is now at 800, I think. 200, 100, 300. No, we only have 480 beer here. So we should wait 
four more hours. Yeah, we can wait. We can afford to wait four more hours till this is done, and then bring it all with Luis at the same time. So we're gonna tell both. We're gonna tell Luis to do tax evasion, so that we can see how that works. Do it. It's gonna take him four hours. Go. And I'm going to tell myself to brew the SPS liquor in the big tank. Let's go. Oh, I need to buy the ingredients. Go buy them and we shall make it the SPS liquor, our signature beer. And then we should do the competition between the SPS liquor and the Nova Primark switch and see how that will go. But we'll do that soon. So we're going to wait two more hours to, till that's finished. Okay. And now we need to, we still need two more hours till this uh, this SPS liquor is done. So let's do this one more time, I think. We're going to brew a little bit more beer. We're going to do more SPS liquor in the medium tank. We we'll lose 10% of the quality, but again, it's fine. It's still it's still good enough. It's still going to be like lots of percentage. That's done. Two more hours. And now we got to bring the stuff to the pub. So I'm going to tell Luis to grab the car, first we gotta load it. So we're gonna put the Keller beer here, pale lager, fruit stout, and my super fancy. Well, actually, we can just bring everything so it doesn't really matter. 640 we have in our cargo. Good. So, Luis, grab it and bring it to my beautiful pub. Go. Once we have enough money, we can get like all sorts of cool upgrades, buy more cars, but especially the upgrades are pretty cool. I'm gonna check them, hopefully when we have the money for it, really. And as for myself, I think it's time to make more beer, because... Why not? Actually, we, we should probably clean the tank first, so that tomorrow we can make the beer. Because 20%, that would lower the quality a lot. No, you know what? No, let's do it. Let's do it. It's still gonna be like 80% quality, which is still good enough, I think. So hey, make beer. Keep making my SPS liquor. Wow, this is gonna be like... But I mean, it's fine. 79% is good enough. It's cool. Okay. I'm going to let the two hours go. And Luis has brought the pub. Now, the pub is just opened, so we now cannot change the prices, but that's okay. And you can see that we've gotten 10 part here, so like all prices, light and medium beer, and balance and sweet. But we do, right now we have all sorts of beers, so we could probably cater to them. We have some lady friends, a lot of industry workers, which is our target category, so that's good. And a lot of tipplers who like the strong strong and uh, cheap beer, which is good because that's the Nova Primark hooch. So let's see. Alright, so I think we can just let the time go. Oh, whoa, whoa, pause, pause, pause. Isaac... Wait, why is Louis bartending? Isaac's supposed- Oh, I misclicked that. Ooh, okay, okay, my mistake. I forgot that Louis is the bartender, because in my test game, I always has the, the, had the middle one who was the bartender. So you know what? I'm gonna do it this way. Isaac's going to be the bartender, and Louis can just stop. So, Louis, stop. No, no, no. Oh man, you cannot change it? Can I not tell you to be a bartender? Oh, I feel bad for Luis. He's gonna have to work so much. But at least he gets a lot of money. He's gonna have to work for 16 hours straight. Luis, I'm, so, I'm sorry, Luis. That was my mistake. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh man, he must be mad. But he gets a lot of money. It's just like, at least, at least I get a lot of money. <laughs> I, I paid him 8 hours of overtime, which I, I guess makes him happy, but like... It was crazy high. Okay, so we need to change this. So Isaac's going to be the item automatic bartender. So don't make the mistake again. Okay. Uh, bartender is going to be Isaac. Okay. So. And then Luis is going to do all the other things. That's okay. How am I doing as for experience? I have plus 0 0.72 as guard and 0 0.52 as brewer, which is okay. Now, let's look at the statistic. We paid 224 in taxes and we made 599 of profit. Now, if you wanted to look at the upgrades in my pub, let's do that. Yeah. So we could uh, get a, well, actually, we don't have the money for a snack menu, but we could each level increases the revenue by 20% and increases the maintenance cost by three per hour. But increasing revenue by 20% is quite a lot. Because we make a profit of 1,191 plus 20% is 
is uh, actually like 200, a little over 200 per day. Which, so we would get this back in 10 days. That's pretty awesome. And the higher the popularity, the more money it would make even. Pop size, we can get more resistance. That's not good enough because right now we just can't get enough beer. Security system. Yeah. Reduces the chance of success of rival agents. Yeah, we don't need to worry about that just yet, I think. We just need to focus on ourselves. So let's make some more beer. I really like making this piece like it's kind of my favorite here and we can also learn new recipes so we can decide that maybe we want to make the I don't know pale lager so we can learn that and we have used our point and now we can make more beer of this type it's a little bit more difficult but um, it should be worth it hopefully so we could we, we could tell ourselves to brew it right now I can pick the medium actually we should put, pick the small thing because medium one is really dirty and we can do 40 by the ingredients and we can go with the manual one. Ooh, so we have three now. Yeah. I like that, it's just like, it really is a lot more difficult. Done, 96%. Could make uh, we can we can make it a signature recipe as well. Pale SPS. Just give me the pale SPS. Don't you want the dark one? Nah. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Now we're actually kind of out of time, so I think that's it for this episode. But tell me if you want me to continue this series, and it's it's a really cool game. I quite enjoy it. There's a lot of stuff you can do, and. Uh, I love the experience, so like you get better in the things and the mini games. It's just uh, I very much enjoy it. I think we're on the right top to watch my train arrives, where we don't exactly make money, but we try to uh, transfer people from one place to another. Or you can click on the right bottom to watch Lorenzo il Magnifico.